In this video, we have a fantastic giveaway. You can go and download nine free shaped image overlays for Divi. So you can use all these overlays in your personal work or even paid works and the licensing is free. You know, you can just use them whatever, however you want. So with these images, they also come with an illustrator file, but you need to go to this post, which I'll link to in the show notes below and download the files. You can open them in Illustrator, change the colors that you want according to whatever design you're working on, and then you can use these creatively. So what I'm going to do next is to show you how to use these shapes in your own designs. All right, so let's dive in. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to go to this post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. It has all these shapes that you can use in your own designs. So I've gone ahead and downloaded it. In fact, let me show you where this button is. So if I scroll all the way down here, you can see we have download the files. Now, if you haven't signed up for the mailing list, you will see a an area here where you will need to enter your email address. So after you've entered your email address, you'll get this button and then you just click on download files. Now, as soon as you download it, everything's going to be downloaded onto your computer. And then here it is. Um, uh, I've already downloaded it. So I'm going to open up my file here. So I'm going to double click on this folder. And you can see here we have the uh, Illustrator file. So this is the file that you can open and make changes to in terms of the colors, but you have all the shapes. And then over here, we also have the PNG overlays. So these are the shapes that you can uh, upload directly into your website and then start using them right away. But let me show you how you can open this file and use it in your designs. Okay, so I've gone ahead and opened it. So this is my Illustrator file and these are the shapes so let's say you want to change the colors of these shapes all you have to do is to click on the one that you want to edit and then over here change the foreground color so i'm going to double click here and let's say i want to make this black i'm going to choose black like that and let's say this circle here needs to be a different color as well all you need to do is to double click here and change your color just like that now if you want to use these, you have to export them as single files. So let's say you want to export this black one. So you click on it and then you want to come over here, file, export. And then you want to click on save for web legacy. So now you have this shape, which will have this punched in uh, part. Now, sometimes you may come to this page and this is on JPEG, for example. Now, this wouldn't work if we are trying to achieve the design that we need because this is going to be exported as white. So you want to make sure that you set it here to PNG 24 so that it's, it gets exported with this transparency in. So once you're done with that, just click on save and then this will be saved to whatever, you know, directory. You can save this on your computer. All right, so I'm just gonna cancel this because I've already gone ahead and done and done all this. So I'm gonna click on cancel and then I'm just gonna close my file here. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we are going to go into our WordPress website and uh, let's uh, start designing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to just create a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here to pages and click on add new. So let's call this download nine free. Okay, use the div builder. And then I'm gonna build this from scratch. Right, so what we're gonna need is two equal columns. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that one. And then I am going to search for my image module and select it. So this is where we get to add that shape that we uh, downloaded. So I'm gonna click here and I've already got my shape here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it, click upload an image, and this is how it comes in. Right, so the next thing we're gonna do is to add a gradient. So I'm gonna come over here to background, click on the second tab, click on this plus button. Right, so I'm gonna to come to the first color here and paste it. Now, if you wanna use the exact same colors that I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below, but you can use any colors that work with your branding. Okay, so I'm gonna add my second color here to complete my gradient. So I'm gonna come over here, click here and paste my color just like that. Now it's time to add a background image. So I'm gonna come over here to the third tab, click this plus button, and I am going to add my image. Now note that we can use any image um, on these shapes. 
but I've just specifically chosen this one here. So I'm going to click here on upload an image and notice that the image now only shows inside this shape that we've just created and it also has this gradient applied to it. And over here on the settings, just make sure that uh, background image size is set to cover. And over here, you can also set this to bottom center and then make sure that it has no repeat. Next, we're going to come over here to design sizing and we are going to force this full width. So I'm going to click here on yes and then we're going to save. Now, the next stage is to start adding all our text modules. So I'm going to come over here to the right side, click on this plus button and search for my text module and select it. So what we want to do here is just to add a title. So I'm going to add my title and highlight the text and set this to heading two. Now let's go ahead, let's go ahead and customize our font. So I'm going to click here on design, heading text and select heading two. So let's um, change our font from default to antique down okay let's go with that and uh, over here we're going to set this to bold and for the size we're going to set it to 45 pixels and for the letter spacing we're going to set this to minus two now let's add some margin and just give this a bit of space at the top there so i'm going to scroll down here click on spacing and for the margin we're going to give this 100 pixels to the top okay so next i'm going to add my description text so i'm going to search for my text module here and I'm just going to insert it right below here. So we're going to come over here to design, text, and we are going to justify this. So we're going to go to text orientation and justify. Now the width of this is a bit too, too much. So let's reduce this by going to sizing. So I'm going to come over here to sizing and uh, the width is going to be about 63%. So I'm just going to reduce this. In fact, I'll just type it in here. It's easier that way. And pretty much that's all we need to do. And now it's time to add a button. So I'm going to click here on save. Then I'm going to click this plus button and add my button module. So I'm just going to leave the text as it is. But in order for us to customize this button, we need to come over here to design button and activate use custom styles for button. So I'm going to click on yes to that. And the size here is going to be 17 pixels. And then now the button text color is going to be white. Right, so now for this, we're going to give us a gradient, which is going to match our design that we've just created. So I'm going to come over here, click the second tab, and then click this plus button. So now you can see that the button now is back in view. So let's add our first color. So I'm going to come over here and paste my color. Now, as I mentioned before, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using, you can go to the link that I'll add in the comments box below. Okay, so I'm going to click here on my second color and paste it. Now for my gradient, this needs to be 111. Okay, so moving on. So we have a border width here on this button. So we don't want anything on that. So I'm going to reduce that to zero. And then uh, we want our button to look like a pill. So to do that, we need to add a border radius. So currently it's set at three. So let's bump it up to about 100. So now you can see our button shape has changed. Okay, so for the button letter spacing, I'm going to set this to minus two. And for the font style, we're going to make it all caps and we're going to make this ultra bold. So what we're going to do is we are going to add some extra padding to this button. So to do that, we need to go to spacing. So I'm going to scroll down here, click on spacing. And uh, let's start by adding our custom padding here to the top and the bottom and the left and the right. So for the left, I'm going to set this to about 50 and uh, since we're applying this to both sides, I'm going to activate my chain. And now you can see our button is nice and big. Now let's go to our box shadow. So here on the box shadow, we are going to go with the first style. And then let's go to the blur strength and set this to about 50, uh, 50, p 50 pixels. And for the spread strength, we're going to set this to minus 5. So pretty much this is our design. So... Using the same process, what you could do is you could go in and choose a different shape, bring it into uh, Divi, and then add whatever background image that you want to add onto it. And pretty much all the steps are the same. So I'm going to save this. And as I mentioned uh, before, the image that you can add here can be you know any image. So let me go ahead and let me show you quickly how you can do that. So I'm going to come back over here. And um, we're going to go to our background. Click here on this image. So let's say you want to uh, add something totally different. So let's go with, uh, okay, let's go with this one here. 
click upload an image and now you notice that the image is now showing in here now of course if you want to uh, center it you can play around with um, the alignment and make sure that it's aligned the way you want so that it's showing right here in the shape okay so pretty much this is how you apply these shapes into your own designs so there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.